Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Structural. Today we will learn how to find a longest river length of a basin using arc hydro tool. So let's get started. This is the arc hydro tool. In my previous video, I have shown how to insert the in, and insert and install the arc hydro tool. You can also check in my description link. Okay. So first you have to install this arc hydro tool and now import any DM file. I will import one DM file. Okay, this is my DM. As you can see, this is the cropped DM I have used. Okay, now first you have to click the fill all the sinks. Now your fill sinks is successfully completed. Now we will click the flow direction. When your DM is small, then it will take the less time. Your if your DM is large, then it will take a longer time. Now your flow direction is also completed. After flow direction, we need a flow accumulation. With the help of flow direction, we will calculate the flow accumulation. Now your flow accumulation is successfully completed. Now stream definition. In this, I will choose the area of square kilometer is 50. For, for each 50 square kilometer, my stream will be created. Okay. Now, stream segmentation. As you can see, my stream is now created. Now, the catchment grid delineation. These are the following steps you have to follow to find the longest river length of your catchment or the basin. Now your catchment grid delineation is completed. We will convert this catchment into a polygon. Now your polygon, catchment polygon is converted. Now we have to save this document to process the drainage line. I will save as river length, longest length. Okay. Now my file is now saved. Now we will again click the drainage line processing by using this my drainage line will be created. This is my drainage line which is successfully completed. Now I will click the adjoining catchment processing.
this is your adjoining catchment now catchment point processing drainage point processing you have to at each junction point will be created as you can see at each junction your drainage point is created now i will find the catchment of any particular point in a river i will find the catchment at this particular point okay now i have to click this batch point generation when you click the batch point your cursor is now activated now i will click the batch point this is my batch point river dam dam location dam 1 okay this is the this is the type as a outlet now my batch point is created in watershed processing you have to click the batch watershed delineation click on the okay one water set is successfully delineated at this particular point as you can see your catchment is delineated okay now we will click the longest flow path of this particular catchment this is your water set this is your flow direction this is your longest flow path we will calculate now your longest flow path for your basin is now calculated i will also click the drainage line drainage line and click the keep it as a hollow and uh, see this is your catchment boundary and this is your streams inside your basin and this is the longest flow path in your basin this is uh, this will be used in your uh, when you will uh, derive the equations for the uh, unit unit hydrograph in unit hydrograph the equations need the longest flow path length in this way you can find the longest flow path length when you click the right on the open attribute table of the longest flow path you can see your shape length is 234 km in this way you can find the longest flow path this is the uh, 8000 uh, 8000 more than 8000 square km area for the unit hydrograph you have to keep your uh ma maximum basin area is 5000 square kilometer for this you have to calculate the basin uh, river length of that particular small sub basin in this way you can calculate the river length of your basin okay thank you for watching my video please share and subscribe my channel